growing up in extreme poverty with both parents uneducated. At age nine, after getting inspired from her mother fight against child marriage as a victim, she then vowed to defend children's rights. Meet Sata F. Sheriff, an acclaimed Liberian child's rights advocate. Today we are mourning with tears. Our hearts are heavy for the death of children in this country. Most importantly right now, Afi Moses and Ruby Pink. Why? So what do you think about that? We think over the past time children rights have been violated and, and people have downplayed the views of children in this country. We started this advocacy for justice, asking the Labra National Police to pop and ensure that autopsies is conducted. But since December 2nd, 2015, where is Afi Moses and Ruben Pay bodies? They are in the possession of the Labrian police. Already? Where is justice for Shaki Kamara in Chotoba? The executive, the legislature, and others that are in government knows about it. Becoming the first elected female to serve as the speaker of the Liberian's Children Parliament created a bigger space for her to even champion the rights and aspirations of Liberian's children across the 15 political subdivisions of Liberia. The lawmakers, the Children Forum of Liberia cannot effectively operate in love with a statutory minute in the absence of funding. We are children. We cannot make money or earn money on our own. We depend on other and institutions to get We ask the federal third legislature to preserve a healthy support to budgetary allocation this fiscal year for the children of Liberia. We are tired of begging partners to support little domestic and technical issues confronting children in Liberia. Such a quest and passion begin to come alive even more. Her quest to always stand for the rights and aspiration for Liberian's children, no matter the person involved, can never be overly emphasized. She's different. Indeed, she was born to be that difference. While serving as Speaker of the Children's Parliament, not only did her exemplary leadership style affect her, her bosses. So that challenged me. Not only did she challenge me, but she challenged the ministry in regards to certain situations and force us to join her fights. So I have a lot of respect for this young lady because I say because of this young lady, me, myself, I was able to understand the plight. It's not that I didn't understand it fully before, but I listened to her. And the reason why I pay attention to her because in a society, people come and say they stand for this, they stand for that, but most of them, I'm morally bankrupt. But when this young lady spoke, and I understood what she was saying, and because of her integrity from the character, I, I deal with character, and not the issue, to be honest with you. And because of the character we're dealing with, I pay attention. So I used to be at the YMCA, and then I saw them coming over to the children parliament. And I met her a few times, but we really talk on internet and I really enjoy the steps she's taking, especially when it comes to advocating for children from the children parliament to where she found herself at Youth of Change right now, leading the way for other young people. I'm impressed of her. So there are a lot of there have been a lot of issues she's been uh, protesting against. Something which has made her to gain relevant recognition amongst her peers in this country when it comes to advocating for our children. Uh, so I work with her and uh, for now my only regret is I'm no longer in the media to foster her agenda for change in terms of changing the lives of young people in this country. There have been a lot of issues she's been uh, protesting against, something which has made her to gain relevant recognition amongst her peers in this country when it comes to advocating for our children. Um, she led a protest again on uh, the two kids on the at the RRI highway who died. Uh, she she demanded the police, the Liberian National Police, uh, to investigate that owing to the fact that their report according to her was uh, was was actually questionable. 
so she named it autopsy report at the time. Um, of recent, she has been one of those persons uh, calling for the investigation of a lawmaker of Ganjida County, uh, Mulayas Wedi, uh, who was actually alleged of raping a teenage girl, something which led to her uh, having a child. So she also called for the investigation of that. Uh, so I work with her, and uh, for now, my only regret is I'm no longer in the media to foster her agenda for change in terms of changing the lives of young people in this country. But she laid a strong foundation for her successors to follow. When it comes to uh, inspiring her peers, uh, she has done extremely well for the Liberian children, and we are also building on that legacy today. So she deserves to be an ambassador of change. There are many other young people in Liberia, but Sata Sharif is also, you know, one of those we can count on when it comes to changing our environment and making, you know, a better place for children in Liberia. That's why we continue to join her, and we we'll continue to join many other young people in Liberia to actually ensure that we have a better world for the children and people of our country, Liberia. She was born to be a leader, and thus, she is living. As her famous saying goes, never underestimate the power of your voice. She is Sata F. Sharif, our first brand ambassador for change, Youth for Change Incorporated.